Wealth Web fam. Today, I want to talk about product pictures and why they're so important. If you don't have good product pictures, you're not gonna succeed for private label. You wanna make sure that your brand image is flawless. Now, the most important thing when it comes to getting clicks is having an amazing product picture, having very professional EVC, A plus content, everything looks great and your bulletin points are very targeted towards your target audience. So you should know who you're trying to sell this product to on Amazon and you have a target audience and you also just really wanna make sure that everything resonates. So the product pictures, when it comes to the lifestyle product pictures, you wanna make sure that you have your target audience in them. I'll show you an example of that right now, but it's so important to number one, have amazing professional pictures because that's the first impression. Number two, make sure you have a great bulletin points that are easy to read, easy to digest, and that have great keywords in them. So keywords are so important. If you're trying to rank on Amazon, you need to have the right keywords in your listing. So the right keywords need to be in the bulletin points. And I, of course, use Helium 10 to optimize my listing, using Cerebro, um, the reverse lookup, looking at my competitor's listing and looking at what keywords they're ranking for, and, and then implementing those into my listing will help me rank on page one with them. And that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna optimize your listing and make sure that you are ranking on page one, that you're getting sales, that you're looking amazing, super professional, and you're targeting the right people. So make sure you try out the Chrome extension if you're trying to find a product. Helium 10's Chrome extension just helps you sort through so many products a lot more efficiently. There's less guesswork. It's definite data that will help you decide whether or not you should get into that niche. So love that, but we're gonna talk about product pictures and how to get more clicks on your listing. So product pictures, amazing bulletin points, great SEO. You also wanna make sure that you have A plus content and EBC. So you wanna have brand registry. You really wanna make sure your presence on Amazon is great. And that's why Amazon is actually headed towards brands and small brands. So that's why EBC and A plus content, um, you are more favored by Amazon because they want real brands on Amazon going forward in the future. So that is something that you should definitely take advantage of. It's just more digital real estate that you can fill up with keywords and rank for that product. So when people are, are typing, you know, uh, baby diaper changing bag blue, and you have that product, you are ranking with all of the baby diaper bags <laughs> that are blue. So having the right keywords in your listing is so important. Number one though, pictures. Now let's talk about this listing right here. All right guys, I'm um, on amazon.com and I wanna show you an example of a good product picture. Now I have the Helium 10 um, extension on, which I absolutely love. Let's just look for an example. And I was just looking in the baby, baby category and I want to do a baby diaper bag. And I wanna show you guys um, some good product pictures and some bad ones. I wanna show you guys the search volume and why I love this extension show. It'll show you the keywords and how many searches it's getting, which is so good. So baby diaper bag is getting 18,000 searches. So we wanna take a look at this niche and right off the bat, I see some really good product pictures. Let's go past the sponsored and here are the results. So right off the bat, which one stands out to you? To me, it's this one with the baby in it and this one with the baby in it and it's showcasing how you can use this diaper bag. So those product pictures are automatically more likely to get clicked on than these two backpacks that just showcase the design of the backpack and the color. So we're gonna talk about both of these products. Now this one, I would not say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. I would definitely pick this picture over it because again, it's showcasing the product and the function of the product. So this is a good product picture um, and it's the target audience, moms with new babies, um, and it just showcases how your baby can be in there safely and how you can store multiple bottles and the color and the size will be showcased in the next picture, I'm assuming. It tells you that there's an anti-theft keychain, um, two stroller, belt buckles, adjustable straps, waterproof, soft uh, with shoulder pad straps, durable zipper, great. So this is a prime example of good product pictures and you should have product pictures 
that showcase the function of your product. Make sure they look professional like this listing. And again, target audience, cute baby, targeting moms who need diaper bags, three insulated models. So again, showcasing how this product is used and awesome product pictures. Now it's showing you large capacity, kind of talking about the design, great listing. It also um, has a video. I love how it showcases the dimensions of the product. Again, great job on this. This is exactly what your target audience is looking for. And it even tells you the materials in case someone has an allergy. So it tells you it's nylon lining, it tells you exactly what it includes. And it's really targeting um, the target audience. And overall, it looks good. So they have the lifestyle picture where it shows the mom and dad, the dad surprising the mom with it, playing on that target audience. This is resonating with the people that are trying to buy this. So a uh, convenient changing station, also more pluses, backpack easy for carry, another plus. They did a great job, that's why they're getting sales. Now they have a video as well, and videos are so important. Highly recommend that you have a video for your product. This is great, literally shows you everything about the product, super good, professional, exactly what you want for your listing. If you're trying to build a listing, this is great. You want to have amazing product pictures like this. And I love their keywords, diaper bag, they're ranking for that diaper bag with changing station for boy girls, multifunction diaper bag, backpack, baby changing uh, bag with stroller straps, large capacity waterproof stylish. Now, their title isn't the best, I'm gonna be honest with you. They're giving up a lot of real estate by repeating the same words. So here's a tip um, for your title, you do not need to repeat the words. So you're literally giving up real estate when you keep repeating words because Amazon's already gonna rank you for that word. It doesn't need to be in the title repetitively. So diaper bag, they use it here, one, diaper bag, again, diaper bag, again. It's just, you're giving up real estate. You could have had different keywords in there. They could have had, um, I don't know, uh, on the go backpack or see like backpacks already in there. So it could have been like on the go or it could have been um, changing pad or it could have been, you know, any other keywords that are ranking for. And you can go on Helium 10 and you can figure out what other keywords that are relevant to this product by using Cerebro and Reverse ASIN. So that's awesome. Um, what I would do is definitely optimize their title. It could be better. And let's take a look at the listing now. Some coffee always helps me um, stay zoned in and get a lot of stuff done. So large capacity and multifunction backpack, portable mobile crib, Convenient and comfortable for travel, premium material, great multifunction, design pockets, excellent baby shower gift. I like how they have a lot of keywords in here. This is great. This is exactly what you want to do. So um, they talk about the product, which is great. And they are using a lot of keywords in here. Baby, excuse me, black diaper bag backpack with its versatile design. It's ideal as a stylish bag for a parent with a baby, which comes with two built-in baby carriage buckles. Um, tell you dimensions is not only useful for accommodating the necessities of a boy or girl such as diapers bibs other baby stuff but also can hold mom's dad's phone wallet keywords portable power storage makeup bag etc which is needed for daily life so what they're doing is stuffing this with keywords that is great exactly what you want to do all of their keywords in here are helping them rank on page one and again this is ranking very high. So they're doing something right. Now, what I would do if I'm building a listing for a product, let's say I'm trying to sell a baby diaper bag. What I'm going to do is take their ASIN right here, scroll down. We see their ASIN. We are going to go to Helium 10. Helium 10 is literally what I use to build my listing. We're gonna to go to Cerebro, which looks at the keywords this listing is ranking for. We're gonna paste it and get those keywords. Now, I look at the keywords, look at the search volume, see which keywords I wanna put into my listing. If you haven't done this for your listing, you're missing out on potential sales. I love Helium 10. If you want a discount, there will be a link in the description. You guys know I've been using Helium 10 for a really long time now, way before they knew about me. Absolutely love 
using this tool to build my private label business. It's the only tool I use. Highly recommend it if you're serious. Um, so what we're going to do is take a look at all of these keywords. These are golden. This is exactly what we want. So we're going to search volume, see what's the highest search volume. Backpack is getting them uh, ranked. It's getting a lot of search volume. Baby registry search. That's getting a lot of search volume. Baby uh, diaper bag, baby essentials, newborn essentials, travel bag, travel backpack, stroller. All of these words need to be in your listing if you're selling this product because again, they're getting a lot of sales. So you got to look at the keywords. You got to embed these in your listing, in the bulletin points, in the description, in the title. So important. Now, this was more about showing you guys good product pictures versus bad. I know I ran through it fairly quickly, but this is great product pictures showcasing how the product is the use in the first picture how it can be used target audience as well show the function in the second one show more function and target audience um, by target audience i mean they're using a baby to target a mom and dad who's in the age range of you know let's say 18 upwards of 50. They want to resonate with these people and they want to sell this product to them. So they have the cute baby, they have the diapers, the bottle, and in this one, they literally have the mom and dad. So again, product pictures, people buy things on Amazon really quick. You want to convey exactly what they want to them so they can buy your product and bam, it's done. So for this product, let's take a look at the EBC before I go. Again, great valuable real estate filled with SEO words. Um, their EBC is good. I've seen better. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of dull. I'd brighten it up, make it more baby, more catered towards moms who are willing to spend money on Amazon. Um, yeah, so again, I talked a little bit about how important product pictures are. So important if you're trying to build a private label brand. Now, what I also want to share with you is a company that I used in the past, they're great. I want to see if they'll give me an affiliate link. If, they're, if they do give me an affiliate link, I'll leave it down below, but they're called Outline-matic. This isn't sponsored, I've used them. They did a great job on making everything look really professional for my uh, EBC and A plus content. So highly recommend them, love them, love Helium 10. Make sure you're using Helium 10 to find keywords if you're trying to build a listing. But more importantly, if you're trying to build a listing, make sure you have professional pictures, make sure you're using SEO techniques to rank your product on the first page so you can get a ton of sales. But yeah, guys, make sure that your listing looks great like this and not something that you know people can scroll past like this. It just isn't as exciting. Um, I didn't know what backpack this is. It just looks like a normal backpack. I didn't know it was a changing station or anything. So this person's totally losing out. Um, yeah, I mean, they still did a decent job for like their second, third, and fourth, fifth picture, but the first one matters the most, okay? So make sure it's professional, make sure it's eye-catching, make sure people wanna click on it, increase that click through rate and make sure you crush it. I hope these examples were helpful. Again, make sure your listing is on point. Make sure you spend time and put money into it. If you're new, take product pictures yourself and make sure you edit them. Make sure they look great. Make sure they look unreal almost, okay? Make sure they're so enticing that anyone and everyone wants to click on it. If you have any questions or if you need help and if you wanna to talk to me, I did open up my calendar and I will be consulting some of you and we will talk about what your problems and obstacles are and how to overcome them. Um, there will be a link in the description if you're interested in that. And also guys, you know, Helium 10 is such a great tool if you're trying to build a listing, but more importantly, make sure your product pictures are great. Make sure you invest in them. If you're not great at photography, if you're not great at, you know, making um, graphics and all of that, make sure you outsource upwork.com, fiber.com. Again, I love Outline Matic because they know what they're doing and they'll get it done for you guys. It is a little pricey, but I do love them. If you have any questions, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, turn on bell notifications. And if you need help finding a product to sell on Amazon, check out this product research tutorial right here.